Okay, this is the, um, what should I say? This is going to, might be the messiest video that I ever make, but, um, it is born of adversity. So this video, we're going to talk about physically in your hands, what the different levels of fibrosis feel like. So this video is inspired um, by my friend Karen Ashforth um, who and Robin Bjork who have put words, descriptive words, to the stages of fibrosis. Um, so this is where we get the terms like putty swelling, woody swelling, um, like more of a watery swelling. So what do those actually feel in my hands and how can you um, if you are a person um, having liposuction or very more importantly this is going to be um, directed towards my fellow lymphatic massage therapist how can you um, know when you're feeling something under your hands whether it's fibrosis or not because um, the big question that I always get from clients um, is like I'm at two weeks I think I have fibrosis and literally the body can't work that fast to put down scar tissue that's really going to take a lot of work to take back up and remodel. Um, in the first two, three, four weeks, we can have putty swelling, like this is the Play-Doh I'm playing with, the, uh, putty swelling. This is not proper fibrosis. This is not something that I would necessarily put a Medi lymph pad on. Um, I would use manual lymphatic drainage. I would use um, some Swedish massage strokes if it was like at two, three weeks for this putty swelling. I would use um, cupping. I would definitely use cupping. Um, and then if this was in the legs, um, I would use um, grasping technique. I would use IASTM um, and hot, after hot stones, after some oil massage. Um, so that's, we've started already the video because I was playing with um, my Play-Doh. So this is putty. I see this at two weeks, at three weeks, um, if we're lucky. This is all I see. I don't see any, I'll see watery swelling, which we'll talk about in a minute. Then it'll turn into putty swelling. And if we can get this out with MLD, if the client has foam on, if the client's doing their self massages, it can be just putty swelling and then it slowly goes away. Um, and then they don't have fibrosis. They just have a really good result after their liposuction. So what happens, we'll, we'll go back. What happens in like the first, um, few days. Um, and this is slime. So first of all, if you don't have children, I don't have children. So I had to buy this and this is like horrible. It sticks to your hands. It's like sticks everywhere. I'm scared of it. Um, if you don't have this at your house, I, I like go into somewhere really safe and have like a half hour before you start playing with this because it's not a game and, and I'm not sure that it should be sold because it just gets everywhere it's like it's like it, it's like it's like uh confetti it's just it shouldn't be sold <laughs> and I'm old and get off my lawn so it's it's it gets everywhere okay but this is so this is slime um I'm not going to take it out and the kids like to play with it um and we're not talking about the sheen on it I'm talking about if you put your finger on it um, this feels like something that we can feel it's a little more um, forgiving it'll give way you can get your finger into it more it's more like a watery swelling going over to a putty swelling so I have felt something that was more like a Ziploc bag full of water that was crackled when it moved and that is a lot closer to a seroma or some real watery swelling in the first two weeks and then we get into this slime consistency um, and then we go to the putty consistency. Um, yeah, and here's some more. This slime is a little more like, ooh, I like this. I hope I can, I hope I can see this. So this is slime super cloud. So slime super cloud, if you can see inside, shows you pitting edema. So this is pitting edema right here. Um, if we have our regular slime. Um, and I put my finger into it, it kind of, it, it comes back. Um, it comes back. So there's a little bit of 
slight bit of pitting edema, but I can put my whole finger in it and it's coming back pretty fast. Um, but this slime, we put our finger in it a, a long time ago, um, you know, over a half minute, and we're still seeing that indent. So this pitting, this is classic pitting edema with this slime right here, the cloud. Um, so that's a good representation um, that you can show yourself like so this would be um, if there's protein so there's protein in that swelling this is pitting edema um, and so where would I see this I see this if I use my cupping machine and um, I'm cupping someone and then at the circumference outside circumference of the cup when I take it off there's pitting around it there's actually an indent and it will stay there for 30 seconds to two minutes um, until I move it with massage or move it or the skin slowly fills back in. Um, I also see it at three weeks and four weeks under the chin. And that's when I know that if I see some pitting edema, when I use my smaller cup under the chin, I know pretty much that next week the, the um, client who had the facelift and the neck liposuction is gonna come back to me and say, oh wow, I really felt stuff start to move because the cupping does really well on pitting edema. Then what do we find? Um, these, this is slime crackle, slime crackle. So these spots are too, um, the crackly parts are too small um, really, but this is a good um, indication if these would be larger, like pea sized, this is what the client feels if they have lumps and bumps. Um, so this is like lumps and bumps in in the tissue. Um, and then it, it just has, um, so you can feel the puttiness around it um, in the client and then you'll feel like just the little pieces of like necrotic tissue from the liposuction, um, just stuff that we can move out uh, with massage, with cupping. Um, and then uh, and, and just some pin and stretch techniques. So these crackles are very small. Um, usually what I'll feel on a client is more like a pea-sized um, or larger um, on that. And then finally we have Play-Doh foam. This is Play-Doh foam. And again, I don't like the tiny little dots. So you don't feel the dots, but what you do feel in a real fibrosis is this just solid texture, really solid, really solid. So we're not really getting um, much of an opportunity to have pitting edema because there's just so much of it there. Um, I can't put my finger in as easily as I can with the other ones. Um, it's just, it's a really hard, um, it's, a, it's a hard uh, texture. So this is the closest that I found in all of these to something that I would call fibrosis. So this would be, so fibrosis still is pitting edema, but it's a lot harder to pit. So what I find is I would put a Medi lymph pad on this. Um, I would put a Medi lymph pad on, and then what happens is those little, over the space of a half hour, those little um, indents, the dots, they're forming on the skin of the client, the pitting. So you'll see, the client will see rows and rows of these. And then as the client moves around, those dots are shifting in the skin and they're massaging. So that's kind of the theory of the Medi lymph pad. Um, and I think it's because the, the, the tissue is more like this. It's very difficult to move. Um, that the Medi lymph pad will work. I will also see um, when I get the fibrosis like this, I'll put a cup on it um, and then I can see from, so I'll start with the oil massage hot stones um, and then I'll do cupping and I'll put the cups on it and I'll just let them suck and really suck and release. This is lymphatic cupping. This is not traditional Chinese cupping. There's no Shaw coming up. There's no red mark. Um, there's no Michael Phelps action. Um, it's suction and release or a constant suction and movement. So there's not going to be a mark on the client. They find it really comfortable. They find it very interesting, um, but never painful um, for the client. So, but what I'll see is um, the cupping will move 
the tissue and then maybe in the first um, early in the massage or in the first of the series of massages you might not be able to get a lot of tissue up in the cup because it's so dense and fibrotic but I will be able to see even later in the same massage the tissue that physically would not move we cannot cup it it cannot be sucked up later once you're moving it with the massage with the myofascial work maybe later that massage or the massage next week then all of a sudden my cups can work the entire way around they're not being popped off because the skin will not give um, so this I really like this if you wanted to know some of the properties of fibrosis um, this is the closest texture that I've been able to get so far I may find a better texture but this is now my preferred texture to describe fibrosis so that is uh, my challenge to you if you have a child and these things are at your house or if you want to buy um, the the combo set I got all of my um, weird and interesting textures um, from Target um, and I got a bunch of these Play-Dohs like for a party pack um, but have your own party have your own uh, lymphatic massage party and kind of see in the um, spectrum of what you can do like how the different um, how the different textures of the clients skin is going to be after liposuction so slime I would say the first week to two um, at two to three weeks it turns into play-doh um, we can stop at play-doh um, if they have uh, lumps and bumps it'll be sort of like crackle but bigger um, to your hands and then again if they get a good liposuction if they get good um, foam if they get good compression if they get good manual lymphatic drainage we can keep it at play-doh and then it goes back to slime and then they're um, fine or maybe it doesn't even go back to slime it just um, gets reduced by the foam and the compression and then they just f get back to feeling normal normal skin um, if you want to look for some pitting edema um, and this often happens here um, or it can happen at the three to four week mark you can have some pitting edema and then after four weeks if they have not if they've come to me they haven't had lipos they have not had the lymphatic massages they've had lymphatic massages from someone that doesn't actually put the swelling through the lymphatic system um, and uses machines instead they can get this fibrosis if they have come to me and they have had some massages with some lady somewhere and they didn't wear foam inside their garment they can come to me with this if they've had liposuction it was really aggressive they can come to me with this um, and then this would be my closest texture to be the fibrosis so this is what um, in my office I help reduce and I do that with the IASTM I do that with um, the uh, cupping I do it with hot stones I do it with oil massage myofascial um, myofascial uh, massage strokes I do it with the foam um, looking at the garment making sure their compression is right I'm using some specialized foams um, keeping a watch on them and keeping these things going until it reduces if um, you want to learn more about that fibrotic massage and about um, about the compression tips that I have um, I have classes for both of those and then so if I, someone has this I will give them my at-home class um, with the at-home videos for self um, fibrosis massage and um, I'll put links to all of that in the bio this is basically if you have this practice um, if you're looking forward to learning more about this and if you're crazy like me and uh, like getting your hands um, into some substances and kind of learning uh, what the textures are and, and what we're seeing in the body when the textures are and if you feel these textures what should you do um, this is a good training so this um, if we see this they need a piece of foam um, they need a garment that fits correctly and they need MLD 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 no machines just MLD um, if they have this they need a garment they that fits correctly they need foam um, they need MLD they need some hot stones and some myofascial massage um, if they have this um, this larger they have um, 
to, they need some deeper massage techniques that focus on this. So I would do the cupping, I would do the IASTM, I would do the pin and stretch and some other techniques that I do for lumps and bumps. Um, pitting edema, they definitely need that foam. They need MLD to take it out. Um, I also use cupping. I also use the, um, the hot stones and the massage on them and fibrosis gets all of it and some of my specialized techniques, um, which again, I have in some videos. All right, have a good day.